Are you a min maxer? Are you looking for the best unit in the entire game? Are you looking at my background and saying, that's pretty boring. Why is it so white? Well, I'm going to change that. Don't worry. But you're coming to this video to know which unit is the best one. It's not a five star. It's a four star. And that unit is... Zingshu of the Guha clan. Not only is he good looking, but he's got a lot of swagger with his sword. But you may be asking, Lichi, why is he the best unit in the entire game? Well, I'm gonna tell you. If we just look at his talents, well, you can see I'm not leveling up his basic attack because he doesn't strive as a main DPS. He strives as a support. And is he a god at it? Oh, hell yes. If we just look at his skill, his E, you might be... You might hear me refer to his skill as an E and his burst as a Q. So now you know that when I say a Q, it's a burst. And when I say an E, it's a skill. Or the other way around. But when I do his E or his skill, um, let me show you. He will perform a little uh, strike with his uh, with his sword and his, and his feet. You know, when he swings upward. It's a twin strike, as they call it. And then you create these swords. Now, I have multiple constellations. But at Constellation 0, those would be three swords. And at Constellation 1, you get an extra sword. But what do these swords do exactly? Well, as I said, you perform twin strikes, dealing hydro damage. You make the enemy wet, and then you can do like a, a reaction to it. Uh, not only that, but when the swords, when they go around, when they go around you and they hit the enemy, it will apply the wet status again. So you can do continuous elemental reactions to the enemy when the swords are twirling around you not only that when a character takes damage the rain swords will shatter reducing the amount of damage taken so this works as a shield and then increases the character resistance to interruption 20 percent of zingshou's hydro damage will be converted to additional damage reduction of the rain swords so they have like this base damage reduction already but when zingshou has hydro damage bonus then the swords will have additional damage reduction. That's insane. But I'm not done yet. No, no, no way. His first talent says that when a rain sword is shattered or when its duration is expired, it regenerates the current character's HP based on 6% of Sinchio's max HP. So it's, it's only about his E that we're talking about here. He will give you a shield. He will give you damage reduction. Uh, it will apply the wet status, and when they shatter or when they expire, you are healed. That's only his E. It, that's insane. I think that's insane. So if you build him correctly, if you give him hydro damage, if you give him HP, boy, does his E rock. But next up, his Q. Uh, initiate rainbow blade work and fight using illusory sword rain. Now, how does this work? You will actually um, summon those rain swords again, but they're like amplified, and they will remain throughout the entire duration of your of your burst. And that's cool because the swords still have the same function as the E, because they twirl around you. They will apply the wet status. But the best thing about this Q is you have the damage destruction. Yes, that's fine. But whenever you do a basic attack, like little hydro swords will just puncture the enemy, and that's amazing because those swords are hydro swords they will apply the wet status they will do hydro damage so many water-based elemental reactions can be done this way and it's just pure awesome i will show you i will just uh, look up some some battles here so let me show you how this works in battle we have this little uh little <laughs> big enemy here so i'll pop his q uh e x excuse me so he has the wet status on him then I can do, with Kaching some electro-based attacks. And he's electro-charged. Now I hit him with the swords again, just close to him. And he's wet. So now I can do some more. Apply the wet status, electro-charge. That's fine. But when I do his Q, you can see the amplified swords. And then when I do basic attacks, Oh, you can't really see it. He has massive attacks, but you can see the rain swords here just attacking alongside of him When I do it for far away, you can see better That's awesome They apply the wet status so many elemental reactions can be done this way 
is awesome. Now he can be a god support at constellation 0 perfectly fine, but what happens when you get multiple constellations? Well let me show you. So as I said earlier, at constellation 1, you will get um, an additional rain sword. That's really cool because it gives you like 6% extra HP when it shatters. And that's, that's good on its own. At constellation 2, the uh, Q or the burst will be extended by 3 seconds. And whenever the swords hit the enemy, their hydro resistance um, is decreased by 15% for 4 seconds. But you will be attacking at such a rate that they will be uh, constantly decreased, so to speak. So it's, it's not only for 4 seconds, the 4 seconds will be uh, extended each time you hit. So basically during Zingshou's burst, the entirety of the time, there will be a hydro resistance of 50% on the enemy. Well, the, the Constellation 3 is just that the Q is uh, raised by 3 levels. Um, the Constellation 4, however, throughout the duration of the, of the burst, the damage dealt by the skill is increased by 50%. I see this with many characters. The 4th Constellation is more uh, to, to awaken the DPS inside of characters. I saw, I saw it with the Sucrose, for example. Uh, she will become an amazing DPS at Constellation 4. And in this case, this only applies when you are using Zingshou actively in battle. So you have your Q up and then when during your Q when you uh, press your E, uh, the damage is increased by your E. But as I am explaining this, he's purely a support, so you're, you're not getting any benefits out of the C4. The C5 is also just a, a level enhancement on the, on the skill. And then the constellation 6. So when you activate your Q or your burst on Xingxiao and you start attacking with any other character, uh, you see that there are like, uh, I, th I think it's like three swords, and then four swords, and then five swords on the attacks. The five swords is when you have the C5, you will deal increased damage on that third hit. So you'll have like a couple of hits, a couple of hits, and then ooh, a big hit because of the damage increase with this constellation. And when that hits, you get three extra energy on on Zingxiao because he regenerates it. I think you can proc this approximately three times when you just continuous, continuously use your basic attacks. So it's about nine energy that you, that you get back. And then you can do your, your skills again to regenerate that energy and get that Q going. So... How do you actually build Zingxiao to become a great support? Well, there is a best in slot for him and it's it's no competition. The Sacrificial Sword is absolutely the best for him. He has energy recharge and when you perform his skill, there is a chance. Well, at rank 2 it's 50%, but I think at rank 5 it's like 80%. So it's almost guaranteed, almost, uh, that the cooldown is just reset. So you can do your skill and then when this procs you can do it another time so basically when you uh, do your skill you get energy and with the energy recharge the amount is increased that you get back but when you uh, proc the skill you can do it again and then if you have enough energy recharge you just get your Q instantly by doing those two skills and that's amazing that's that's just the thing that I love about this sword I mean there are multiple characters that can use the sacrificial sword but in this case it's just it's just absolutely best in slot for Zingxiao. So if you have luck in your gacha pools and you have Sacrificial Sword, put it on Zingxiao. There is no contest. Next step is the artifacts. At this moment, I do not have the perfect setup. I have a perfect setup on mine, but this is the one that I'm working right, uh, working with as of right now. The one that I have in mind is uh, the Noblesse Oblige or Noblesse Oblige. Um, the reasons being the 2 set, Lamental Burst damage increased by 20% and the four piece whenever you use your burst increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds now this is this is just as i said it's godlike with with jingxiao and his weapon when you do e double uh two times and you proc your q all the time there's always this extra attack for other party members but since jingxiao's attack is also increased those sword rains will do even more damage and they also have a chance to crit so uh, keep that in mind for when i get to the to the correct part of this one but that's the one that i want to make uh, right now i am uh, rocking wanderer's trap 
alongside of it. That's something you can do as well if you want to use some more elemental mastery for uh, extra uh, elemental reactions. Like, I'm just always rocking electro, electro charge with Kaching, but maybe you're, um, uh, well, you can also do it with Beidou if you don't have Kaching. But maybe you have Deluke or Bennett uh, as your main DPS, and then you can do lots of vaporizes. Maybe you have uh, Chongyun as your main DPS, and then you can do a, a lots of frozen statuses. There's so much that you can do with the elemental reaction. So with an increased elemental mastery, that's that's insane. So that's something that you can do. Um, for your Sands of Eon, I would suggest that you do a energy recharge. That's actually the reason why I'm also running Wonder Straw, because I want an energy recharge on my Noblesse Oblige part. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that one to drop. But energy recharge would be nice because if your energy recharge reaches about 180% uh, or higher, you would get 50% uh, of your energy back when doing your when doing your skill. So whenever you do your skill, you get 50% back. And then uh, if your sacrificial sword procs, you can do it again. And then you have 100% energy re recharged and you can do your Q. So try to get this at 180. I don't have it yet, but that's what I'm aiming for. So try to get it that high. Uh, for your uh, goblet, hydro bonus, of course, because then you will enhance your uh, your sword rain and the damage reduction on the swords that will be surrounded by, uh, by the character. And for your circlet, I would advise crit damage or crit rate, because if your crit rate on Zingshu is higher than the sword sword rain or the rain cutter will have more chance to proc crits but with crit damage if you increase this one uh, then whenever it crits it does more damage of course so either or but well with attack percentage up you're not getting much out of it but there's another thing that you can do actually a third one is hp percentage because uh, as stated earlier when um is this one when the the swords when they disappear or when they are shattered the active character gets six percent of zingshou's max hp so if you increase uh, zingshou's max hp the healing will be better so it depends on how you want to build him if you actually want to build him as a healer that's also possible then you just put maiden beloved in between there and then just do everything hp related that's something that you can do as well but the setup with noblesse oblige four piece and then hydro damage, energy recharge, and crit damage or crit rate will make him a god. I swear, I'm not even optimal here. I'm I'm so far from optimal at this moment. Optimal at this moment, and he's he's insane. He works so well with Kaching, with the Luke, uh, well Tartaglia as well. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm just flexing the five stars here, but if you have Zhangling as your main DPS, or if you have Razor as your main DPS, or Beidou, uh, or Ningguang, everything will work with him. Everything. He's such a good support, he will benefit you greatly. So if you have Zingshou, start building him as soon as possible. If you want to know how to build someone, right, right, uh, right there, right there in the corner, there will be a card, and then you... Uh, you can click on the video, you will know how to progress a character at the maximum potential, and then do this for uh, for Zingshou. You have, you have to build him. He's such a good character. In my eyes, he's the best one. The best one. I hope I informed you guys well enough on Zingshou that you will put him on your party, you will build him, and you will use him throughout your complete adventure in Genshin Impact. I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you for watching this video to completion you absolute legend. If you did like it, click the like button, consider subscribing because it might help me get through the uh, awful YouTube algorithm that is currently knocking me to my knees. <sighs> it's, it's, it's bad, it's really bad. But still, I thank you for watching this video. This was Galaxy Bring Glitchy, have a good one. Well, let's not break out the joy, Lou. Yeah, destroy!